well hello 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 and welcome back to creative stuff in this video we are going to learn to how to control pixel led chains using ardin before going into the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do and also follow my facebook and instagram for more useful videos so to make this project we are going to need a power supply here I have used this 5 volt 20 ampere SMPS, an Arduino Uno, some jumper wires, and some pixel chains. This is the power supply we are using. These two points are for AC input. Next to that is earthing point. Then. We have two COM ports, which are our negative points of the DC output, and then the two positive 5 volt ports. And at the end, we have a voltage regulator. We will also be supplying power to the Arduino Uno from the same SMPS. So, connect SMPS 5V and COM port to Arduino 5V and ground pins respectively. As you can see, the input side of the LED chains has these extra red and white wires, which actually can be used to provide power to the string. So, the red one goes to the positive port and the white one to the negative port or the COM port. Now, connect pin 11 of the Arduino to the data pin of the LED strip, which is the middle pin of the connector. Now, to give main supply to the SMPS, connect a pair of wire to the line and neutral ports of the SMPS. Now connect Arduino to a PC to upload the code. Click on Tools and then Manage Libraries. Then search for NeoPixel. Then install the Adafruit NeoPixel library. As you can see, I have already installed it. Then go to Files, Examples, Adafruit NeoPixel and select Strand Test. So this is the code we are going to need. We have used pin 11 of the Arduino. So change the LED pin from 6 to 11. And change the LED count to 50 as our LED strings has 50 LEDs. No need to change anything in the code, just upload it. And now, power up the SMPS using AC mains. So, here is the output.
Now, to add another LED string, just connect output of the first string to the input of the second string. In the code section, change the LED count from 50 to 100. In the same manner, to control three or more strings, we have to connect output of second string to input of third string, and so on. But remember, these wires will not be able to supply enough power to the whole system. So we have to use another pair of these thick wires to supply power from SMPS to each LED string in parallel. Now, in the code, change the LED count from 100 to 200 and upload to see the magic. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram to get more such videos. That's it for today guys. See you in the next video.